Are we interrupting anything? Chung Ling, <laughs> woman of the hour. We were just talking about you. Oh, well, Beta was saying you and I should get ourselves on board sometime. Says the whole crew's been asking for us. <laughs> Seems like you three go way back. Oh, we really do. Beto and Shinyan are two of my oldest customers, and I've helped out in the kitchen on board Beto's ship in the past. Recently, Shinyan's been planning to do a show on board, too. That's the plan. Good music's meant for sharing. You guys should check it out sometime. Will do. But I came here today because I made it into the Masterful Chef's finals, and I was just trying out some new dishes to bring to the competition. Can you have a little taste and give me some feedback? Sure, beats drinking on an empty stomach. Oh, about time. I'm starving over here. Let's see what you got. Oh, man. This chicken foo young's tasting awesome. Oh, this food is too good for me to be soaking up the alcohol with. <laughs> These three seem to have a great time with each other. Only thing is, you've got three dishes here. Chicken Fu Young, Come and Get It, and Crystal Shrimp, and they all taste kind of refreshing. Uh, is refreshing really a flavor? When you spend all your time at sea, you don't have a lot of choice when it comes to food. Especially on the longer voyages, where you've got to stretch out your rations as far as you can. First thing you want to do when you get back on dry land is dig into a nice hot meal that's swimming in oil and has a ton of flavor. That's the exact opposite of Ning Wong's tastes. Oh, sure is. Beto's tastes are pretty similar to mine and Xiang Ling's. Ugh, Ning Wong. I am sick of hearing that name. Our tastes couldn't be more different. You'll never find us eating the same bowl of food. But last time when you were chatting with her, Paimon thought you two seemed to get along just fine. We're evenly matched. Guess that makes us equals. But I'm sorry, limp cabbage leaves are never going to do it for me. Oh, I hear ya, I hear ya. Steamed cabbage and broth might be upper class and look fancy and all, but man, is it boring. It's never going to give you that flavor explosion you get with some of the other dishes out there. So, Xinyan, are these dishes too mild for you too? Well, not so much mild. I just think you maybe missed a beat somewhere. Exactly. This is some fine cooking, no question about that. But if this is for a competition, it needs more... oomph. Beat? Oomph? Mm, are we sure these terms apply to cooking? Beat and oomph. Hmm. Beat, yeah. You know what a beat is? I only know music, though. I'm nowhere near your level when it comes to cooking, so... Don't mind me if it doesn't make much sense. No, no, you're both completely right. Beat and oomph. That's what I need. I actually thought as much while I was cooking them. Even though this was a brand new combination, it still felt like I was missing that one thing that'll seal the deal. You know, really push it over the finish line. Seems like she's found her muse. Um, does that mean... Music theory is compatible with cooking? Hey! Paimon didn't quite get the implication, but Paimon can tell when you're being a meanie! Okay, I think I know what I need to do! Great! So this went really well! Don't hold back, just get out there and do your thing! You're a pro, Xiang Ling, and you've totally got this! Hands down, best chef in Liyue Harbor! Ain't that right, Beto? Well, I think so, anyway more than any other chef. And there ain't a whole lot of people I'd be willing to say that about. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thanks, everyone. All right, we'll leave you to it. I'm gonna take Shinyan on board for a while. Xiangling, they both had pretty strong tastes. You sure that won't be a problem? Shouldn't we get a second opinion from someone with milder tastes? That's a good point. Beto likes her greasy stir-fries, and Shinyan can really handle her spice. Yeah, we should get another opinion. <laughs> 